Welcome back everyone to Pine Leaf Plays the Beorning and let's have a talk to Constable Sageford. Greetings. What is this? Rurik? There's a Rurik Fennel living here in Combe. He's a locksmith. But why would he be aiding the Blackwolds? Rurik's house is southwest of here, just behind the Combe and Waddle. You had best have a talk with Rurik. I will be very interested to know why he's been locking boxes for the Black Wolves. Very interested indeed. Why to take a moment of your time? Rurik is a locksmith here in Combe. You should show him that receipt and ask him why the brigands appear to be common patrons of his. It seems odd that Rurik would be involved. He's qu a quiet man who keeps to himself mostly. Still, we need to investigate every lead carefully. You should find him. Yes, I know where to find him. What's your need? Ah, you have returned with the brigand's lockbox. Now, let me see what's inside, and we can sell the valuables to support the survivors of the Blackwold raids throughout the areas. Locked. I should have guessed as much. Well, until we find the key, we won't have any luck with this. There seems to be something carved on this. R.F. Most unusual. M maybe it means Rurik Fennel? You know, the guy you're sending me to? The LOCKSMITH! <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy those two quests being together. And he's wondering, how am I going to open these things? And you got another quest going to see a locksmith who probably made the box. <laughs> ah. I was talking to one of the other constables shortly before you returned, and it seems that he learned that some of the Blackwells were keeping even more valuables in the main camp in the ruins of northern Chetwood. With any luck, you might be able to find a strong box that's not locked. It's worth trying anyway. There are so many people who need money to rebuild, and who better to take it from than the ones who stole it in the first place? Well, I guess you got a point there. Found your son. He's joined the Blackwolds. It's a sorry day. I know it is. What? Corva has joined those villains in truth? I refuse to believe it. He's a good boy, even if he has a temper. He's a woodwright through and through. And he never do such a thing. He shouldn't say such horrible things and to an old woman. Ah, what am I saying? I knew the boy had landed himself in a spot of trouble. Thank you. Thank you at least for finding him. That was close. Definitely turn off XP now. <laughs> I, ooh. I told you it's very hard to calculate that sometimes, and 67 XP. What short. can I do for you? You found it! Oh, thank you, thank you. I've been thinking that pole should be given to the waters of my dad's favorite fishing hole, the pond near the Hunter's Lodge in Archit. I think he'd like that. Uh, thank you again. And do you want a... Well, that's not an impressive set, so I'll just take the heavy ones then. And what's left? Could I speak with you a moment? Now that the people of Archit have stood up against the black old brigands, and we've got them on the run, the tide are turning. Things are returning to normal. I'd say it's time we do our part. I used to send honey down to Staddle in trade for pipeweed, a business I'm ready to pick up again. My old trading partner, a hobbit named Lolo Winningway, used to peddle wares up the road down here from Staddle to the south. When the Black Wolves came, I'd wager he'd hold up down there. If you happen to be in Staddle and see Lolo, please let him know that I would like to renew our partnership. All right. Good. Anything else? Oh, yes. Rurik Fennel. And, and, of course, finding that. Oh, and up there we will find the leecher. 
can't forget about the leecher. No, oh, dear. Uh, yes, my name is Rorak. Yes, I'm a locksmith. Uh, what about it? Oh, one of my strong boxes. Recovered from a brigand. And a letter? <sighs> I see. I had hoped that I saw the last of the Blackwolds. You must understand, I did not willingly help them. My business is keeping things locked away, so I do not often ask questions of my customers. I filled an order for twenty strong boxes, and upon completion was visited by the Blackwolds. One, a tough fellow, took my master key and threatened my life if I talked. One of the others with him was called... Applewood, please tell the constable that any aid was unwilling, and I only stayed silent because I feared for my life. All right, then let's go back up here. And talk to the leecher. All right. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Ellie got herself in trouble, did she? I've been near the wood of late to gather herbs and such. Something has the animals there stirred up for certain. If this will help make things right between Ellie and the comb folk, I will help. I think I know just the thing. I'll need fresh honey, blackwort root, and several red berries. And there are beehives behind the abandoned house, out the comb. The berries are in the patches in the valley just over the hill from the house. And blackwort root is found near the wolf dens in North Chetwood. So. so let's start with the honey. And proceed from there. And what all did I get there? Breedland Adventurer. Yeah, the usual stuff. Oh, yes, the Hobbit presents! See, I knew I'd forget it. Alright, let's see what we have here. Three run boos. Well, I'm doing a lot of running around, so I'll just pop those. And some cash. You can never argue with a little bit of cash. Especially when it's 400 silver pieces and you only have 124. That's the nice thing about Hobbit presents. All right. Anyway, I wanted to wait till I was level ten before opening it, since that's when I'm assuming that's when you start to get some decent stuff, since they have steps every twenty levels. All right. I collected some honey. I guess they're look. I live with Grimbiorn. We we raise bees, so I know how to pick up honey. Alright, now, trick here is not disturbing the bears. Now, of course, on most characters, I just go and... kill any bears that get in the way, but... as you know, I'm trying to avoid that with this character. So I'll take the bushes that don't need me to go around killing bears. Yeah. So you can get around it without doing it, but... If you're not RPing unwillingness to kill bears, it's probably just easier to kill a few along the way. Alright, that takes care of two of them. So let us head up this way. And let's see what I can find. Actually, before I head into there, we've got... Let's see, what do I need at... Battle lore, I need... See, I have five early Third Age relics, which I got from my vault earlier. 
well, most of them from my vault earlier. In five ages of scrap, so I can make some battle war and learning war lore. So I'll make three battle lores. It'll start to get my scholarship going. And let's get Oh 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 I thought I said oh I must hit make all instead of make. Ah Okay, so I have four battle lore and one warding lore. Well then I might as well use one of the battle lore since I've got plenty of those. Ooh, what's in the box? Ooh, plenty of stuff. All right. Well, we're about that later. And see if any of us use. I have this habit of actually saving that stuff, and of course, by the time I remember, I'm such a high level that sometimes there are pittance. So I shouldn't be too stingy on using those things. I don't think I'm going to need them against the wolves here. Yeah, because I'm on level there. But if I go against something that's maybe a little bit ahead of me, I already got a battle lore on me, which adds minor battle lore, plus 70 physical mastery rating. All right. Here's our black ward. One. Now, killing wolves that are in the way, that's another matter. Right, so that teens. Oh. I think that's it. I'll go and take care of the other stuff after I talk to Ellie. So I'm definitely in a place where the epic is going to take priority, seeing as it said 67 XP from level 10. And in fact, I will take care of him before Constable Sageford here. That way, if there's a jump up to level 12 for the quest or something like that, then I could just turn into Sage first to go up to 11. So therefore, how I handle this may seem like madness, but there is method in it. All right. Ooh, nice dark sky. Right, yes. Oh, no, I have to go to leech your card? Well, not to. Ah. <sighs> yes. I know. Read the... Quest guide. It tells you where to go. It says, Leecher Cartwell. It doesn't say, Ellie Cutleaf. All right, let's go up. Hi there. Greetings, friend. Ah, there you are. It will be just a moment and I'll have the poison for you. Uh, be careful with this. It'll not hurt you or I or even the little folk ex 
except perhaps to make us mildly ill, but the normal woodland creatures would suffer terribly if you don't use caution. Uh, yeah, you should return to L.A. and let me know that the poisoner's ready. Yes, let her know the poisoner's ready. And I don't want to hurt them because it might hurt a bear. If I'm not careful, so therefore... Work on that. Now we can go to Ellie. And have a word for her. On what this is all about. What we need to do next. Probably go after Jagger Jack or something like that. Alright, and here we go. Let's see what she has to say. Greetings. You have the poison from Cartwell? I trust Cartwell. Now that we have the poison, we may be ready to strike at the black bolts in the Chetwood home. Would you do something for me? Okay, it goes up to 11. <laughs> if I'm to help you, then you've got to trust me. We need to deal with them wolves and their keeper, Jacker Jack. Jack spends his time talking to those strange dark-skinned men within the ruins occupied by the Black Wolves. Find him and kill him else he'll keep breeding his wolves with the warg. While you search for Jack at the camp, look for corpses of dead beasts, sheep, cattle, even deer. It's likely the poor creatures are the food of the wolves. Use the poison on the corpses and we may well kill off a good number of Jack's beasts. While you deal with Jack and the wolves, I'll talk to Skunkwood and others about the new recruit I found. I might be able to get you into Skunkwood's hideout. Alright. Good. Now we can talk to Sageford. And see what he has to say. About our locksmith. Of course, do you expect him to get the connection that, oh, I have this lockbox I can't open because it's locked. How am I ever going to open? Okay. I suppose that the master key is in... Yeah, but a locksmith... Locksmiths know how to pick locks. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. There's the group of people who legitimately know how to do it, as opposed to the ones who illegitimately know how to do it. <laughs> what can I do for you? Wow, this doesn't help us to get the box open. Yes, it does. You know who made the lock? <laughs> you know who can pick it? <laughs> and the valuables returned. It does speak well for Rurik. I feel badly that he felt as though we could not protect him, but with what's happened in Archit, I understand his hesitation. Let me think a moment on the names he gave us. Scouts are coming and going all the time, and one of them mentioned seeing this Applewood. Why to take a moment of your time? Ah, yes, I remember. A scout returned a few hours ago and mentioned that there was an Applewood giving orders to the recruits. He then headed towards the Black Wolf's main encampment in the ruins to the north part of the Chetwood. If Applewood has the key, then we should set about getting it from him to aid those who have suffered so greatly at the Black Wolf's hands. Be careful, Pineclaw. Reports from near those ruins tell of a great sense of dread and dismay. You will need to be cautious if you are to attempt to find Applewood and obtain the key. When you find the key, return to me, and we shall see what good news we shall bring to the people of Archit and Combe. So, let us take care of that. 
So that gives us quite a few things to do. Get another strong box. We don't need to talk to Lolo yet. Take care of Jagger Jack and get the Master Key. And we'll do all that in the next episode of Pine Leaf Plays The Bjorni.